What's going on YouTube? My name is Dom and in this video here today I'm going to be talking about the best class that nobody is using or that very few people are actually using. Um, but before I hop into that, if you guys haven't checked out the most recent match of Team Dow uh, against Memento, that was a fucking awesome match. I highly recommend that you watch that. It was super exciting. Even if you're not into the competitive scene, you can get a look at some competitive play. You can check it out from my angle. You can also check it out from Delta Elite's angle as well over on his channel. Um, he did stream it as well. Also, I did my boot camp. I did my first boot camp on Xbox this past weekend. It went awesome. If you guys are at all interested in, in getting in on a boot camp or whatnot, go ahead and join my Discord. Link is down into the description. But anyway, let's go ahead and let's talk about this video today. If you guys watched that Memento match, you know what class I'm probably going to be talking about. After that Memento match, I figured I better strike the iron while it's hot and talk about this right now. So anyway, let's go ahead and let's talk about why Ranger is the best class that you're not using. So honestly, I could have made this video for a few different classes. I think there's a few great classes that are amazing that nobody uses, but this is the one I'm going to be talking about specifically for today. Um, because I feel that Ranger is one of the most underrated. Whenever you see Ranger going to a, a, a match, you, well, which you hardly ever see, every, the impression is always like, God damn, Ranger sucks. You know, he's really not that good. He's just a step up above recruit. Honestly, I think Ranger is one of the most low-key underrated classes in this game. I think I did put him in my most underrated classes video. Um, because, mainly because both of his weapons, I feel, are sleeper guns. I'm going to be doing a video later this week talking about the biggest, uh, the, the most effective sleeper guns in the game. What I mean by that is the most underrated guns, uh, the ones that people don't really anticipate, don't really think about. And I think it adds a whole another layer of fun to the game when you start to play with those uh, guns that are so-called sleeper guns. So anyway, the MK14 is the primary, right, on the uh, 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 on the Ranger class, it's basically a marksman. I think it's a marksman rifle. It's a full auto and it has 20 rounds per magazine. Now the thing does insane amount of damage. It is a three hit kill. I believe on a, a three hit body kill. So on a support, um, I can't remember the I can't remember the damage equivalency to an assault or a tank uh, uh, for that matter. But the MK14, I always leave it on full auto. I know a lot of people put it on burst and I don't use burst. The reason is because when I am at a distance, I have learned to just single tap the thing. So it's basically a sniper rifle for me. Now, if you think of a three hit body kill, it does basically the same amount of damage as a PSG uh, on the Trapper or a G28, which those are considered sniper rifles. So, so this thing does about as much damage as those sniper rifles, but you can also full auto it when you need to. <clears throat> so when people are rushing at me, for instance, there's been a lot of times uh, predators on Battle Rage will rush me <clears throat> and I will pull out that MK14 and they're at such a close distance that the intense recoil that is on the MK14 doesn't matter at that point. I can full auto the fuck out of it and I have killed so many people on Adrenaline, Battle Rage, I've mowed down tanks with this thing and you know, if you get a headshot with it, it basically, it's a melt machine, it becomes unstoppable. Now the PSG is the recommended secondary on the Ranger. I don't really see a use for the shotgun. I don't think it's really that good. The PSG I think could be a primary. All right, let me, let me get that straight. If the PSG was the primary on the tech, the tech would probably be my most favorite class in this fucking game. I'm being honest. The PSG has the capability to go head to head with a point man. It can go head to head with you know, basically any assault, um, as long as you shoot them before they shoot you, you are probably going to win that gunfight And if you don't miss any shots. The PSG, I like to consider it basically a Scorpion Evo, except minus the intense recoil. I think it is incredibly powerful. Now, when you take all this into consideration, also the fact that you can put hollow point on the Ranger, I would almost take Ranger over any of the assaults because of the versatility. I can, if I need to, take out a sniper from a distance. I'm behind a barrel. I can take out a sniper if I need to. If someone is rushing me up close, if a point man is rushing me out close, I can outmaneuver them and I can mow them down if I need to. What other class can you say that about? As far as like with any of the assaults, you can't say that if you need to take out a sniper, you can snipe them. You can't say that. If you say that about any support, if someone rushes you, you can mow them down. On some of them you can, like the diversions and the artillery, but they can't take out a sniper uh, if they need to. They don't have that long range capability. You can't really say that about any other class in this game except for the side for maybe the Enforcer, but the Enforcer's MK48 has just an insane amount of recoil. It's hard to take out a uh, uh, long distance people from it. Uh, now, the, now I love uh, Ranger. I think he is one of the most underrated classes in the game and I think more people should be using him and I'm definitely going to be devoting more of my time to mastering this class and kind of making him my bread and butter because I can snipe if I need to I can go up close if I need to I can rush if I need to I can flank if I need to I can do whatever I want um, which just makes it so powerful 
and uh, you can't say that about too many classes in this game. But anyway, um, please let me know what you guys think about this particular issue down in the comment section. Another class that I would consider a sleeper class is Sentinel, and uh, I'd probably go over that at a later date. But anyway, um, let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you have any thoughts, opinions, comments about it, please go ahead and drop that down into the comment section below. Go ahead and drop me a like if you did enjoy the video. Also, please let me know what you guys would like to see in future videos. Um, of course, I do make these videos for y'all, so uh, if you guys have any thoughts about that, go ahead and drop it down into the comment section. I would love to talk about that. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.